Hello folks, welcome back to another video. So I thought I'd post one here on my channel. Um, please do subscribe if you're new because I'm doing a lot of content on Keep Productive so I want to make sure I'm still getting out the regular pieces like this. So do subscribe and like this video um, before we begin just so that uh, we can get um, you, you're more of you folks discovering these videos naturally. So um, I mentioned a couple of weeks ago about the new um, menu. So you may have got this, um, I think this is still in beta. Um, but you can press M now on any large display or any web version that's in beta and even Mac version this is and now get access to the left hand sidebar being a little bit more accessible and and I would say a week or two into this now I've actually really appreciated it. It makes to do it a lot cleaner. Um, there's a few minor bugs but at the same time it's a really nice design and uh, works very well in my opinion so far. Now they, I have got the latest version of the beta so this won't be out for a while but you can see that next seven days has now turned into upcoming and I have a few reservations on this but also quite like the way they've done this. So if I click on upcoming you can see here that uh, if I press M and get rid of that menu you can see here that you can basically scroll all the way down to the end of the year. So you can basically go ahead and plan. If I skip to today up here, um, you can basically see everything at a glance. Now, I quite like this view. If I'm honest, I like being able to see in advance. I can, for example, scroll to next Monday and say, okay, what have I got to do? Pick up a laptop. I won't be doing that for obvious reasons. But I can actually go and sort of preview each week. So I've appreciated that. Um, the, the area I'm not entirely settled on is because it's such a big change to the next seven days. With this view up here, it looks totally different. So as you can imagine, I think maybe this isn't necessarily a issue I'm having. It's more of a warming experience. So up here, you can actually scroll to a date far in the future if you wanted to. Um, and that can save you a bit of time getting to it. But I quite like, the thing that I quite like is that if I go to my labels or filters area, one thing I kept doing was going to this area and using the filter next 10 days um, and just put it, that one as an example. Um, and this is what the next seven day looks like at the moment, obviously. But I quite like the fact that I can actually go ahead and, and see those next 10 days, sorry. Um, using that filter. So that's what it previously looked like and this is obviously what it now looks like. So it's a lot different um, in its sort of structure. Um, but overall, I'm impressed with it. Um, I'd really love to know your thoughts. This is rolling out so it will take a bit of time um, to come to you but at the same time, uh, a good way to plan ahead I think. For example, I can see myself using this to plan the week ahead without necessarily getting too far. So for example, I can plan next week and, and not too um, intrusive in terms of going into other labels and other projects uh, like I would have in the past. So folks, um, that's obviously a short preview. I'll let you know my full opinions as time goes on. I haven't really used it to the maximum yet. I've just been staying on today, um, but I hope that was a nice overview. Um, let me know your thoughts and I will talk to you all very soon. Make sure you hit subscribe. Um, again, I'm doing some more videos on this channel, maybe more relaxed ones like this, giving you previews into beta and some of my opinions with it. So uh, a pleasure and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheers everyone. Bye.